hello everyone welcome to the channel in this video we are going to locally install this brand new tts model called as f5 model this model seems quite interesting as it's a fully non-auto regressive text to speech system based on flow matching with diffusion transformer without requiring complex designs such as duration model text encoder and phenom alignment the text input is simply padded with filler tokens to the same length as input speech and then the denoising is performed for speech generation which was originally also was done in e2 tts which we will be covering soon the thing is the original design of e2 tts model makes it a bit harder to follow due to its slow convergence and low robustness and that is where this f5 tts comes in it tries to address this issue and the way it works is quite interesting what they have done is that they have modeled the input with conf next to refine the text representation that makes it really easy to align with the speech and then they have proposed an inference time so a sampling strategy that has significantly improved their model's performance so we are going to install it locally and then we will see how it works before i do that let me give a huge shout out to mass compute who are sponsoring the vm and gpu for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video description plus i am also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on a range of gpus they are also running a hack to birth this month where you can win 100 dollars in free gpus i will be one of the judges you can submit your llm generated text or images in order to win the prizes okay so let's go back to this f5 tts and let's try to get this thing installed locally so i am running ubuntu 22.04 and i have one gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gp of vram as it's a tts model you don't need that much vram but i will show you a rough estimate uh, during the video how much it takes so let me clear the screen first up let's create a virtual environment with conda i'm just calling it ai let's wait for it to finish should not take too long and that is almost done next up let's git clone the repo of f5 tts and i will also drop the link to it in video description and next up let's install all the requirements from the root of the repo and this is going to take three to four minutes so let's wait for it and all the prerequisites are done took around five minutes but it's all done let me clear the screen now one of the good things about this project and its github repo is that it it allows you to also prepare your own data set so if you have your own data set with your own voice you can easily do that you just have to fill in the path in the script they have provided for example if you want to prepare a data set with the emilia's voice you can do that with this script and then they have also another script which enables you to prepare the vnet speech uh, for tts data set so that is quite flexible i would say but we are interested in checking out the inference with it or how can we do text to speech where we will be providing it a text and it will generate a speech or audio file so let's see how we can do that the first step in that process is to download this f5 tts model if you want to run the e5 you can even do that too but let's play around with the f5 which is a better one for that the first step is to go to hugging face model card and i will drop the link it of it in video description f5 tts go to your ckpt's directory locally in that one create this directory f5 tts underscore base so if i take you back so this is my f5 tts i will go to ckpts if i do ls dash ltr you see that i already have created the f5 tts underscore base if you want to create the e5 just to make directory e5 tts underscore base and enter so I'm just checking the uh, F5 TTS underscore base here. So I already have created it. Once you have that directory, go back to the Hugging Face page. Click on Files and Versions. From here, you see that we have two folders, F5 TTS and E2 TTS. Click on F5 TTS. Then click on this model. And 
right click on this download save link as and then save it in your f5 tts underscore base directory and you can see that i already have downloaded it so let's cancel it so this is one step you need to do you need to download the model uh, from the hugging face page and before you download you would have to um, also sign in with your free email account okay so that is done let's go back to my terminal and now we will do the inference so let's go one directory back here let me clear the screen in order to do the inference all we need to do is to run this script python test infer single dot py and first let me show you what this script is so i will just open it in my vs code so you can see that i have opened this file here and this is a test infer single don't worry about the rest of the stuff it is just putting some of the hyperparameters, putting it on the gpu now if you come down you will see that this is where you have to provide your text which you want to convert to speech so this is a reference audio you can use any audio would do which you want to replicate and then this is some reference text this won't be included in uh, your in your audio file but it will just give some hint to the model this is a text which model is going to speak in the fairy tale way in a very very nice way and i will show you shortly when we generate it so let me run it and see what it, it generates also this is the english one if you want to do the chinese you can simply replace it with this chinese reference text and whatever you want to generate so let's go back to terminal and run this this is first going to load the model onto the gpu and then it will generate the inference file and i will shortly show you this takes a bit of a time and it also gives a bit of a warning which you can ignore because that is just around um, our GPU and it is running on CPU it seems so it's not even using my GPU so you see this is the text it is going to use it has uh, appended this with this there you go so it has generated the wave file let's go back here and then go to this test directory and you will see that this is a test underscore single dot wave file let me open it in the browser and play it so let me play it and just focus on the um, sound of it i don't really care what you call me i've been a silent spectator watching species evolve empires rise and fall but always remember i am mighty and enduring Respect me, and I'll nurture you. Ignore me, and you shall face the consequences. So pretty interesting, right? Now, um, it has really taken in our reference audio plus the text and also has generated a very, very fine um, audio which contains all the emotions and all the textures of the sound. Okay, so now let's try out another interesting example. In next example, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to comment this one. I will uh, keep the reference audio, but I will just add this text, which is bit of a, so it will start with bit of an angry tone, and then it is going to say that this is Fahad, and then it will change the tone, and then it will calm down. So let me save it, and then let me, generate it with the same script let me clear the screen here and i will just run this one you can also do the batch operation if you like so let's wait for it to generate it and it is all running on cpu which is really good speed is still very good so it is almost there there you go so you see it has now appended that this is fahad with that reference text it is going to generate the audio file now and there you go audio file is generated let me play it in the browser and you will be surprised so but before that let me also give a huge shout out to our sponsors of the video who are agent ql agent ql is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly easily and at scale you can use the python sdk to run your queries in production using playwright and use a browser-based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page and i will drop the link to them in videos description okay so now you know who agent ql are let me now play the audio for you 
Okay, now listen to the audio. Mar. This is Fad, the AI YouTuber. Hmm. Please subscribe to the channel. Please subscribe to the channel. So that's it. So you see, it changes the texture of the sound. It changes the whole flow of the sound as per your reference audio and your reference text and all runs on CPU. So you have a lot of control because it's a non auto regressive one. Uh, so it's really innovative, really like it, especially F5 is much, much better. So same uh, step for E2. You can simply download it and replace it with the uh, F5. That's it. All you needed to do and it is going to run it for you in that uh, for that audio file. And this is what I mean. So if you look at uh, line number 35 when that's test in for single right now I have selected F5 TTS underscore base. You can replace it with E2 here and then that should be good and keep rest of it as is. That shouldn't really matter. This is just um, telling you how much adherence to the prompt it needs and this is our sampler and that sort of stuff. So that's it guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what do you think about this model. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.